All right, uh, so now that we have some basic ideas on the equation of motion, let's see what we can do with it. Uh, here it is again. It's worth writing down a bunch of times so that you remember it like you remember your address or telephone number. Uh, x equals x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. And now one of the nice things about this equation is that using the basic definitions of velocity and acceleration, we can recover other kinematic equations simply by a few basic operations. Uh, for example, the definition of velocity. If you recall that, that was just dx dt, or the first derivative of position with respect to time. Okay, and so let's perform this derivative on that equation, uh, taking dx dt equals velocity, now we can see the first term, since it's a constant, if I take the time derivative of that, that will be zero. The second term, since it's linear in time, if I take the first derivative of that, the only thing that remains is v naught. And then the third term, if I take the time derivative of that, exponent two comes down and cancels the one half, and I'm left with a t. And so I can clean this up a little bit and see that the velocity is now gonna be given by v naught plus a t. Lastly, just should be obvious at this point, but if I take the next derivative, the second derivative of position with respect to time, or just the derivative of velocity with respect to time, that gives us the acceleration. And I can see real quickly that this makes a lot of sense, right? The first term v naught is now a constant since there's no t attached to it, so that becomes zero. Second term, a t, if I take the derivative of that with respect to time, simply returns a. So again, a equals a, which is what we'd expect. Now we have uh, obtained one of the basic kinematic equations, starting with this one and just doing a derivative. Uh, yeah, that's useful.